appreciate that Ms. Eubanks went to work with teachers, researchers, experiences because we get to learn stuff that other kids might not be able to. That just makes school a lot more fun. We benefit from it because the teachers bring it back and we can learn more about it. And we investigated more into it about female polar scientists. <laughs> yeah. Girls, girls. They were like a, a lot of clothes. She was an oceanographer. She was learning about the deeper into the sea and she was putting like robots down there to see what they could find. Um, I got to work with Dr. Overbauer, Paolo, and Mrs. Eubanks um, working in uh, mangroves with the dendrometers and uh, learning how to measure the trees with them and uh, like how important it is to um, make sure you do everything correctly or else you're not going to get the right info. Hi, I'm Colin. At the Polar Earth Day, I learned that 90% of the South and North Pole are made of Ice. Hi, my name is Alex, and I benefit from having a TRE because I learned that a J hook is shaped like a J, and a circle is shaped like a C, and the J hook are the J hooks are more invasive than the circle hooks. She may help me in Earth Day because uh, she went to the Arctic and she told us all about the depth tour, and I did that project. Having a teacher that's with the TRE helps students because it's interesting and it also helps people learn more. This benefits me personally because marine biology really interests me and I learned so much about the sharks including their senses and that the nose is their strongest sense. It benefited me because I didn't really like sharks or the polar area before I started learning from a TRE. I benefited from being a student of a TRE because I learned so much more about circle hook. I learned that circle hook benefit the shark, but don't benefit the fishermen because they just don't catch the shark. I thought it was fun to be working with the scientists that came. That Missy Banks knows. We did the Earth Day extravaganza. I went and I learned that it's really cool and we need to help preserve it because the ice is starting to melt. They don't know if the abominable snowman is real, but they found tracks and they don't exactly know what it's from. I have learned so much, especially about the melting of ice and how it can affect more than the animals in the Arctic, but around the world. I benefited from being a student of a TRE for three years now, and during that time, I learned a lot about the sharks and the poles. And now a group of students and I are going to present a poster at the State of the Arctic, which is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and most kids don't get to do.